The library is open. I honestly, in my heart of hearts, feel like P.B. Herman in a dress. Masculine, gender fluid femme, realness. I, I don't think, you know, how I identify and how I present myself really is different. Well, I think I identify as a gay man, and I think I present as a very fancy grandma. I use he, him pronouns, the he suite. I don't think there's any difference between how I feel myself to be and what I show the world. My gender presentation is to be determined. This summer I have been doing gay bro. My identity is complicated in terms of while I identify as she and her, if somebody calls me a lady, that feels very weird. Not a lady, look at this. I don't necessarily think of my non-binary identity as being right in the middle of like a man or a woman. My gender identity is ever evolving. Femme feels like drag, but everything feels like drag. I feel like the st standard androgynous is so close to masculinity that it feels unfair. Like the idea that femininity is a performance feels unfair. There's something that I like though about the drag of femininity. Looking like a weird drawing of a woman that is almost taking back that femininity and making it my own and also having this polyester armor between me and the world. I'm in this like phase of my life right now where I don't know because I'm in drag so much. I call myself a, a, a black man like in one sentence and the next sentence uh, she's a different person, you know, but the same person. I think back to my youth and I definitely was a bit of like a tomboy and didn't fit into like a lot of these norms. As I grew up and started to kind of like play around with my like femme identity a little bit more, now I'm like thinking back critically, thinking about the ways in which I was like, oh, I was conditioned to do so. Like I wonder if that conditioning wasn't there, if I actually would have made that choice for myself. We can identify and we can present however we want to. You know, we can choose whatever pronouns we want to. We can dress and take care of ourselves in any way that we want to. I do want she and her to, to be able to mean all sorts of gender presentations. From my own experience, she, her still has always meant however my gender is, which is definitely non-binary and just it's its own little place. When I think of gender, I think of a social construct. When I started to open up these possibilities of, whoa, I don't have to fit into this one box for the rest of my life, being perceived as a woman, I started to allow myself to experience my gender fluidity, my gender expansiveness, start to explore presentation, that has been so healing for me to know and still know that just because I am choosing to be more femme of center right now in my life doesn't mean that I'm stuck in that for even later today or tomorrow. Now I feel like I've kind of come full circle into this place where it feels expansive feels like the word. It doesn't really feel like it's masculine and feminine. It feels like it encompasses all and everything. Gay, 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 gay.